Hi everyone, welcome to the iProcess webcast. Today we're talking about the safety plan. According to ISO 26262, the safety plan shall define the planning of the activities and procedures for achieving functional safety. It is a document that explicitly calls out for planning of safety activities into the project, including supporting processes such as configuration management, change requests, supplier and or customer related activities, integration and verification activities, safety validation activities, confirmation reviews, audits, assessments, safety analysis, implementation of safety activities into the project and tailoring of the safety life cycle if applicable. If any of these activities are planned, described and tracked in a different document, it could be referenced in the safety plan. No need to duplicate content, makes it harder to maintain. Planning of safety activities should be consistent with the safety life cycle. For example, during the concept phase, item definition has to be planned, together with impact analysis, HARA and functional safety concept, with the reviews and approvals required for each work product. These activities are planned in addition to functional activities such as high-level definition of system requirements and system architecture. It is beneficial to have functional safety activities together with functional activities planned and tracked in the same tool. Implementation of safety activities and progress is a project tracking task. During planning, each activity gets assigned a responsible, start date, due date, effort, predecessor and successor. Track completion of each safety activity, actual versus estimated effort and identify risks. For example, what safety activities are on the critical path? Tailoring of the safety activities is basically done for the safety element out of context. And even in this case, HARA could be used to identify the safety goals. The assumptions become requirements and are refined further down into architecture, design, and so on. Integration and verification activities, confirmation reviews, audits, assessments, they need to be planned, tracked, and completed for SEOC as well. The responsibility to create and maintain the safety plan lies with the assigned functional safety manager or with the project management if there is no safety manager. Yet, the content should be contributed by the entire R&D team involved. iProcess can help you with guidance, templates, and workshop moderation to get your safety plan created, maintained, or reviewed. 